to the stars. Thomas John is back, and he's going to give us some predictions for 2018. But first, welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, you're in town for a um, intimate event tonight. Yes, I have an intimate event. Um, it's a reading event for two hours. It's only eight people, so it's everybody's oh, guaranteed wow. a reading. Oh, wow. Do you do a lot of those? Yes, actually, it's a very popular event. Oh. Right, and most people that you're reading, you are communicating with loved ones who have passed. Yeah, mostly communicating with loved ones, getting messages that they have about you know what's going on in their lives or things that you know they want to communicate from beyond. It just depends. Every reading is different. Right. So you have the medium part, right, which mm -hmm. is that. Then you have the psychic part, right. which right. is the predictions. You've you've predicted a lot of things, and a lot of things have come true. Yes, correct. We <laughs> want to go over some predictions for 2018. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. The very first one, you are predicting Kim Jong downfall. The country's mm. going to move towards a democracy. Yes, I see. I see things really improving there. I don't feel everybody's talking about nuclear war and things like that. And I know that that's a you know a scary thing to read about. I don't. I don't see things moving that way though. I see things actually improving there. There's gonna. I feel there's gonna be a lot of change there. It must be because of Trump's great temperament. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's. Are they gonna be best friends? Yeah. <laughs> I don't see best being best friends. But I don't know. You don't have to be psychic for that one. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of President Trump, uh, here's another one of your predictions. Uh, attempts to impeach Donald Trump will fail. Approval rating rises as a result. Yeah, I just, I see a lot of, I mean, I feel all the controversy around him will continue. And, you know, when I when I tune into predictions, I go into a channeled state. So there's nothing about my wishes or my political beliefs or things. It's really, I'm in kind of a, just a really connecting with the spirit world, what they want to bring through and stuff. So I feel that there there is going to be attempts to maybe try to do that, but I, I don't see that really being part of what's going to happen around him. And, and I, but, you know, I, I don't see another term for him. I feel like we're only going to have him for one term, but I don't see, you know, things about impeachment. I just, I don't see that the avenue that we're going to go. But what's interesting is that you see his approval ratings actually rising as a result. Improving, yes. I mean, I, I don't, I don't see him maybe being as popular as other presidents with approval ratings, but I feel that, um, that yes, I think he will have improvements next mm. year. Mm. Uh, what about year. Oprah? Well, I predicted that five years ago, and I, I still think, and she was. Did the, you really? Yes, you predicted Oprah in 2020? I predicted, yeah, Oprah in 2020. Um, on the radio and T, you can look it up, and uh, it's in magazines and stuff. And that was when she was denying that she was going to do it. Right. No, no, no. Um, and I, I, I do feel that she's going to move towards that. I, I, what I see politically in our country for long term is I feel that we're going to go to a system where there is going to be much more options with parties. You know, we're going to have three or four parties instead of yeah. one or two. Nice. Where it's so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It only took us 2,000 years to get there. <laughs> okay, well, um, in February, you were predicting record-setting temperatures. Please tell us, do you mean warm? <laughs> I hope so. Or do you mean cold I think temps? that'll be a very, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be a, a rough month for us. And it's interesting because I've As actually... In cold? Very cold, yeah. Oh, yeah. It can't get colder than the, red, the record we just set two weeks well, ago. I'm talking about broadly across the country, too, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we can't oh. even escape it. Oh. Yeah. We need to get some. Okay. We need to get a fun prediction here. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Is this fun? OJ Simpson's gonna get remarried. Yes, I see him getting. I see a new relationship for him. Yes. And actually getting married in 2018. I see. Yeah. 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 New. New relationship. Is he, yeah. Does he marry Tanya Harding? <laughs> <laughs> She's already married. That exactly. doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, okay, so O.J. Simpson getting married this year. Yeah, in a relationship and, okay. and getting engaged and married. Yeah. Wow. That's wow. how hard it is out there for single women <laughs> yeah. right now. And that's how fast he moves. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Uh, all right, we mentioned Kyle Schwarber at the top of the show. Yes. Uh, Chicago Cubs have a rocky start but quickly recover and a new out-of-the-blue all-star mm. pitcher. Well, the last time they won the role Series, I did predict that too. So um, I, I feel that the yeah, I think the the season's going to start off a little hard for them, but I see them actually having a really good season and getting you know getting high up there. Can you tell us any more about this out of the blue all star pitcher? Yeah, it just kind of came to me that there's going to be somebody. New. I don't really follow sports, I have to be honest, but I <laughs> I, I, um, I saw that there's going to be somebody that's going to be maybe an unknown, maybe somebody that they already have on their team that really uh, impresses Emerges. everybody. Yeah, mm. I was going to say unknown. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Warm yeah, this up. I don't know about that. Okay, now do you have any predictions for any of us? 
I see, Ryan, um, th there's a lot of things uh, positive for you uh, next year, this year, the, the year that we're in. Um, I feel a lot of things around the relationship area of your life. So wow. I feel like there, there may be somebody new that comes into your life that's very positive. Um, it seems like it will be something very, very stable and healthy and happy. So. I like that. Interesting. Is Tanya Harding available? <laughs> uh, hold on. What would what, you say, frankly, Hank? I got someone talking to me. I don't know. Well, no. Oh, sorry. If you saw something really negative with one of us, would you tell us? Well, yeah, sometimes that stuff comes out. I mean, I the when I get a message for somebody, it's not to scare anybody. It's okay. always meant to kind of help them or guide them. So even if something could be construed as negative, um, it, it can be mm. something that can be, you know, helpful. I, sometimes a, a prediction has come through about somebody's health or something, and it's like they can make a change about it. So it's this positive. is worrisome because he just said positive things about Ryan <laughs> and nothing about you. And yeah. you <laughs> Yeah. Um, are they, they going to make it to the end of the year? <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's a lot of good energy here, so. Oh, <laughs> All right, that's good. Goodness. All right, well, speaking of energy, up next, Thomas John is sticking around because he is going to read you, the audience, 